Oh, those were clean. Todd's always been like this. helping out. So we're in the plating room now. What they're doing is measuring it out and putting it in. This is the Titan Bolt. You can look on down and see everybody nationwide getting their gains on right here. So we got our uh, rice right now. We're putting in some mushrooms. <laughs> Are you ready for the biggest bowl Icon has ever made? Well, that is the Titan Bowl. Take a look over here. Bam! 10 ounces of steak, mushrooms, and rice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We're feeding you Icon Meals, the Titan Bowl. Get your gains. We are going to get ready to go train right now. And I'm training, I'm training with, uh, I don't know, probably one of the greatest, actually one of the top three in the world in history. Uh, Phil Heath, my brother, my Washingtonian brother, if you guys didn't know, he grew up about 45 minutes away from me. So we're going to go train. Um, but right now I got my uh, two breakfast burritos going down. Breakfast is anything before I train. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> As they're breaking up over here. All right, guys, I throw this bad boy in there for two minutes. I do a little sauce on there right now, too. Uh, two minutes, you boom. Two right yeah, I do. I'm gonna go with over 80 grams of protein for this workout and over, um, let's see about, uh, also over 80 it's grams of carbohydrates. Over 100. Over 100. I was being kind. You're being <laughs> kind. Cause I know there's some snowflakes out there that are gonna cry about that and go, wait a minute. So I'm gonna need all the energy I can for this workout and so, I don't want to get in and get one exercise and not have anything in the gas tank in the sense to get through that whole workout. This is going to be brutal. This will be uh, completely up a, a notch, not only because of us training together, but think of this. If you got, if you're training with somebody that's that great, I want to suck up as much knowledge. So I don't care so much about, I, I care about the workout, yes, but I also care about understanding and, and catching everything that I'm learning from him as we're doing this. Even though we're having a fun battle of training, I'm learning. And that's, that's what's great about being with the pinnacle of these people is that you get to get on this level. And they always say, wait, a minute, well, the, the lion on top of the mountain is never as hungry as the lion climbing the mountain. I will be forever mentally the, the lion climbing the mountain, trying to learn. So I wanna retain that, so I don't wanna go in there and just be so focused on the training that I'm not understanding what he's doing and how he has basically been able to create legs hanging from his shoulders. <laughs> so he, he said they're arm day, and I said, no, this is a second leg day kind of, because his arms are some of the greatest arms you've ever seen in history. Even guys that have are, are born with genetically gifted, like Mike Metarazzo had these calves that were crazy and he had huge, huge, huge arms and he was born with those. And then he put his training into it and everything besides that. But the cool thing is Phil's arms are, are so shaped and so different and so big that uh, it, it's an amazing feat that even if he was gifted some of those arms, he created something that's uh, mind blowing to me. And to the other guys out there that kind of <laughs> watch this world of health and fitness that we live in. Um, so back to this, easy enough, I am traveling, not missing meals. Um, and that goes back to what I told you guys. If I told you how much uh, I would eat as a kid and how I would travel and train, uh, I was the guy that had the baby food on the plane and the tuna fish cans in the late 80s. So that understands on how I believe so much in nutrition is that's what I would travel with, this 40 pound backpack off to my shows and competitions and powerlifting meets. Um, and today it's so simple, it's so simple. You order your food, it's there at the hotel, um, there's no excuses. The only excuse is basically just the, the individual that wants to come up with the excuse. 
uh, but there's absolutely zero excuses and mostly in today's day is and and i get another one of these things where they go i don't have time to eat during the meeting two minutes and then you're eating it and you're done there's a four minute break that's pretty simple for anybody anybody so again that's just sorry to say but that's a snowflake mentality that's just again you guys going back to the point of trying to come up with excuses instead of just being truthful to yourself and i think that's what icon really uh i think the culture of icon is set up to see the better or the best you can be for yourself um so that's my take on it i'm gonna down these bad boys and then we're gonna get off to the workout Right back to it. There's the breakdown for you guys. I just ate that for this little workout. A little. Bofum. Bofum. <clears throat> we are gonna get nasty. Uh, cannot wait for you guys to see this workout and see what I pick up as we uh, do this together. Phil and I are gonna be doing a lot of stuff this next couple of years together. So, um, something that if you guys don't know, you will soon find out is he's at a level where he's going to give you guys a lot of good information so make sure to utilize that and go over there and, and listen to him uh, same thing as our page we're at that level where we're, we're going to give you guys that information we do like as Mona says are we good? Mm -hmm. are we good? we are Try to use this information correctly. Um, like most people, you can get hurt doing anything. So just be smart. Be smart about these exercises we're doing. Be smart about the weight that we're moving. Um, the workouts are secondary. First is mental, your mindset. Second is nutrition. And then third would be lifting, if you want to go that route. Um, but I know most of you think that it's the lifting will get your mindset, and then the nutrition is third. That's not the way to approach it. Um, it is definitely mindset first, then nutrition, <clears throat> and then the lifting is last. Not even go nutrition first. So, you guys, enjoy it. I down those. I'm gonna uh, get this workout in. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Enjoy.